What if aliens attacked the Earth tomorrow? Are we really all alone in a universe that has billions of planets? The answer to that question may well lie in how much of the universe have we already discovered? Not a lot, not by a long shot. A few variables behaving right, a decent set of permutations and combinations sitting well, and bam! There we have it, intelligent life. If we were to look at probability alone, there's a real decent chance we have celestial neighbors with their own version of Twitter. Having alien friends is both good and bad news, because how do you know they're friends in the first place? Even the humblest of alien civilizations could have enough technology and firepower to wipe out the human race at once. The real question is, what if they arrive tomorrow? Before we dive into the video, here's a little message from the creators of this channel. Hey guys. We made this channel to share with you some awesome mysteries and phenomena from our world and beyond. If our video makes a little difference in your day, share it with your friends. Because we believe everybody deserves to know something awesome every day. You can also support our work by subscribing to our channel and making a Patreon donation to help us create more awesome content for you. Who visits and who doesn't? When we talk about aliens visiting us, we are automatically ceding to them the technological advantage that makes such long-distance space travel possible. The fact is our astronomers have barely made it out of our own solar system. So if aliens really do visit us tomorrow in that weirdly transparent spaceship, what options do we really have? Does any government anywhere in the world have something called an alien contingency program? Not one that we know of one. Will there be a message first? Like countries with coastlines that have a bit of their land borders spill into their waters to demarcate their part of the sea, the Earth has its own bit of personal space. Let's assume the aliens respect our personal space and send us a kind message from outside. Even if that happens, the space programs of a number of leading countries will need to verify the message first. Verification successful. They're here now. You know it because it's all over the TV. The global family dream. In that moment of adversity, perhaps the happiest people around the world would be the one world one family guys. That's because agencies and authorities from around the world will quickly join forces to assess the level of threat by the incoming aliens. Experts from all kinds of fields like psychology, extraterrestrial biology, linguistics, war, civilizational clashes, and even ufologists will be summarily summoned by their respective governments. In all probability, a team composed of these experts will make first contact with the aliens. Analysis, Coding and Decoding all conversational reactions and gestures will be analyzed by the experts for their real, hidden, and probable meanings. Only then can we know whether they've come in peace or mean serious damage to us. Watch out for some God-level commotion as religious leaders and their followers believe they should be the right group to deal with the aliens. Whichever way we choose to go, I can tell you it'll be a tough ask for anyone trying to say the first hello. You see, there's a good chance they didn't learn English at school. Basically anyone with the required intelligence to decode alien messages would already be at the job. But what would we do? Wait. What would they even look like? If things like protein and DNA are universal constants, evolutionists would agree that alien evolution would be very similar to human evolution. What does that mean? A few simple things. The optic nerves that travel from the eyes to the brain cannot be too long because that would mean a delay in transmission of visual inputs to the brain. The eyes would also presumably be close to each other, translating into binocular vision. They'd have limbs, too. How many? We might not exactly know, but a minimum of two hind limbs should do the job of moving around, unless, of course, they hop around on a gelatinous column. If they can handle tools without telekinesis, they'd even have fingers. Even then, the aliens that come here tomorrow would look more bizarre than all of our imaginations combined. Swing in some news coverage. While the governments work together to devise the most comprehensive action plan, the media will work overtime to keep us in the loop about every new development. The obvious advice would be find cover if you're outside and stay indoors if you're at home. No moving out until further instructions. 
At a time like this, a lot of news will also be straight out chaos, making it difficult to filter out the fake from the real. The smart thing to do would be not to believe everything you see or read on Facebook. For I can guarantee, there will be many doomsday opinion pieces going around. Classified Information If our experts are able to establish interaction with the aliens, we'll be in luck. But it's hard to tell if the government or the scientific community will share any of that information with us. What's not hard to tell is this, if they choose to conceal information, it's not a good sign. First, the attempt to establish any communication could totally go to the dogs. Maybe there are no aliens in that spacecraft. Or maybe they're just waiting for a backup army to arrive to make the annihilation that much quicker. Imagine they did respond and no weapons were involved, at least not in the first round of interactions. Again, we don't know what could be their real intentions. Remember, the language barrier means that we could only be making guesses with somewhere around 30% accuracy. One thing is for sure, there will be panic. Given they have enough technological advancement to travel so far in outer space, it's also very, very likely that they'll have all the material to build some bleeding-edge weapon systems that could potentially devour entire planets at a time. As civilians start to portray mass frenzy and panic spreads like wildfire in the streets of cities around the world, governments will already be contemplating nuclear options. There's no guessing that nukes will be our only chance against them. Or, at least we'd like to think that way. But let's say these aliens turn out to be something like the ones we've seen in the Men in Black movies. And they might have fatal allergic reactions to one of the elements on Earth. Like who knew ice cream and pastries could be the ultimate weapons of alien destruction? That would be something. What if we're wrong? It seems bizarre to put it this way, but maybe colonization was never on their minds. They might not have come to harm us or wipe our race out of the planet at all. Still, if some space virus tags along with them and spreads a disease on this Earth, we might be caught napping with no immunity against this new pandemic. If not the aliens, the alien virus could potentially wipe our species off the planet. And who are we kidding? If a race of superior beings really screeched out of outer space with the real intention to kill, we'd be gone long before we offered them peace. Because peace happens between equals. As of now, we're in no place to host intervallic alien ships, whatever be their intentions. We're safe only as long as our astronomers make first contact, and like Stephen Hawking said, colonize them before they colonize us. That was our bid on what would happen if aliens attacked us tomorrow. What do you think do we really have a chance of survival, or we're just deluding ourselves with castles in the air? Tell us in the comments below. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Contribute to the growth of this channel by becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. We will see you soon with another bag of awesomeness. Until then, Bella Ciao.